what is up guys the Aaron express here i'm back with another tutorial this time uh, a twitter header but an easy twitter header the other one was for more advanced people i guess i'll make another one that's more advanced um this 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 time it's just uh for people who are new to photoshop i want a twitter header uh, let's just the first exactly uh the first thing you want to do is i'm gonna delete those layers i'm not gonna delete them i'm gonna put them in the map and remove the map the first thing you want to do is uh, take your bucket tool go to, go to your buckets and put everything black exactly uh, go go to this side all that is from the previous uh, go to this side pixels um, I'll put this I'll put a link in the description of this site because this is a site that I use a lot and um, you have free photos um, that you can use that, that, that's it um, I guess uh, I'm not gonna do a street this time. I guess I'll do a forest. Fuck it, I'll, I'll take this one. I like this one. Um, you can download this for free. This is absolutely free, 100% free. Um, so no one, no one will go on your Twitter header and be like, "Bitch, you need to pay for that." No, it's everything on that side is free, and I'll put it in the description. So, exactly, you can download it. I just copy and paste it because that's easier, I guess, for me. Because I'm a lazy bitch. Okay, just put it in a way you like it. Kind of like it like that. Uh, take a gradient map and make sure everything is black and white. Like that. Make another layer. Um, take a brush, just a normal brush with hardness zero. And take a color that you like. I'll take... Previous time I used blue. Oh, I guess I'll use orange. Let me see how that works. If I use orange as more. I guess I kind of like it. Make another layer. Go to your brush. Uh, this is also going to be in the description. Uh, these brushes. Um, oh, yeah. No, these, these. I'll put them in the description. Um, that you can download them and put them in your Photoshop. Just sploosh one of them. Uh, make sure you turn them around so it's kind of horizontal uh, take your text tool and type your name I'll type express because we're on express design uh, you can use whatever font you like I'm using laser 84 I'm gonna put that also in the description so you don't have to do anything um, make sure he's in the middle uh, that's... they go in the middle and make sure you're your brushes then also before you go on with the text um, make look up um, uh, not paper texture that's for later uh, black textures and you go on and look for a texture I kind of I'm gonna take this one that was fast just looked over them um, I'm gonna take this one just over the whole city put that on overlay and put the opacity around 30 um, and you're probably asking why uh, just look at it just look at the city with with that texture and it out it's kind of darker and I like it um, that's that's just that's it now you go and um, type in paper textures and you just look through them and you look through a paper texture that you like and just copy it or download it whatever you like text thing to a normal layer uh, the way that I do it is by combine uh, combining these two layers just control e them together if you don't know how to select uh, two layers at a time you hold in shift and you select uh, the layer that you want basically or you do like that you select the first one and if you want to select all of them you go to the sh press shift and go to the last one and you then you select all of them exactly but that's how you do it and control e to uh, merge them and Control J to duplicate it. That's that's the basic um, shortcuts that you kind of need in Photoshop. But now your um, text is a normal layer. You make another layer. You paste your um, your paper texture in it, and you, you do the Alt shit. Okay, you go like that. You go above. The layers and press like that so the paper is in your text and i guess opacity put it on 80 
yeah something like like that okay let me have a little snoop poopy uh, yeah okay uh, that's basic that's the basics you, ca you can leave it with that but I like to spice things up a bit and I'll guess I'll go you select all of the layers you control J them and then control E them and then control J again so you copy the you merge the layers and then copy it twice first thing you want to do is go to filter blur and Gaussian blur so you blur everything else uh, my Gaussian blur is at my other monitor and just press OK. Um, take a brush, not too big, like 200, maybe 300, it's, it's how you how you want it. Uh, just erase the blur of your text and just erase uh, some parts of the city. Not all of them, just some parts, some, ran some random parts. Uh, like that. And you go to opacity and make it a 70 or a 60. I'll go for 70 and merge those two layers uh, duplicate the layer again and go to filter um, other high pass and you have something like that just put it on soft light and you have more details just look at that boom more details instantly looks a thousand times better than before um, merge those two layers again and wait a minute uh, don't duplicate them, just leave it like that. Make a new layer, take your brush and a normal brush, uh, just a round brush. Make your brush 500. And why doesn't he want to be 500? 500. Uh, go to black and make the sides black, like that. Put the opacity around 30, like that. Uh, make another layer, but white this time, and just do something like that that the top has a light effect looking down okay now we go to this tool um, and pick up brightness and contrast uh, just yeah just find your way with brightness and contrast like that uh, go to vibrance do the same thing I put my saturation up and my vibrance up as well not too much otherwise it doesn't look good like that exactly um, just not too much um, there you go. Um, hue and saturation. This is, a, this is a thing I do on a lot of my banners. If I have one color and I want to spice things up a bit, uh, I go to my hue and saturation and I look for a color that fits with orange. Or you're looking through and you think orange was wasn't the best color, and I think that wasn't the best color. But anyway, I'm just gonna leave the orange and take red. Okay, just just take something with the, that fits with the colors if you take blue pick green or purple that's that's basic standards uh, anyways so pick something that fits with orange if you're using orange uh, but and just erase uh, some parts of the hue but not all of them because that that fucks up the effect uh, and then make the opacity around 60 and you have like even a better color you have like two colors and one that I like, kind of like that and I think you're done yeah you, you are done this is this is the banner that this is it I I kind of like this one a lot uh, let me see what I how the other one looked they're both great I guess you can make the text bigger if you want but yeah I, I kind of like this one as well this is an easy banner and I kind of like this banner a lot this is a banner that you can use if you're not good at Photoshop uh, I'm gonna make couple of more tutorials in this two months series because I have no school did you know they you know in, in, now you know I'm gonna make another um, another Twitter header but for more so an advanced um, Twitter header I'm gonna make a YouTube banner uh, an easy YouTube banner for people that do not know how to use um, Photoshop and so and then again an advanced um, YouTube banner that if you want something else that I you want me to tutorial off like advertisements or text or just let me know thank you guys for watching me for like do more if you want and as always see you guys in the next one peace